Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. Welcome to my channel. So today uh, my video is kind of a little bit different. A lot of the times you have asked me to make a video of how I finish my paintings and how I decorate them. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So I have these um, uh, dried paintings and I'm going to resin them first and I'll show you how I take care of the back. So let's start. So today I am going to use the art resin. By the way, you can buy this from Fluid Art Company. It's kind of like, like a boutique shop with excellent service. Uh, the link is in my description section. They have everything you need for Fluid Art in their store. So um, this uh, art resin, which is the ratio between the two bottle is one is to one and i will show you how i measure that because uh, sometimes people get confused with that i would try to make it very simple and then once i mix it then i will come back and i'll resin them so what i do is i don't measure how much of um like what's the ounce or um yeah ounce quantity what i do is like i take two of the same size cup either these two or or these two so depending on how much resin i want to mix i will fill up one of this cup with the uh what is it called the resin with the hardener i will fill it up with in the other cup or if i want more i will fill these two cup and i will mix them together and i'll be ready to go today as you can see i have a bunch of stuff here um by the way these are coasters i would not put this resin on this one because um, coasters you want to put on resins which are uh, which can resist high heat this one is more for art so that's why i'm going to use this for art resin and those those are actually already resin but i used a different kind of resin for that one anyway so let me fill up the two cups here with the two parts of the resin and I'm going to put them together and mix them. So I'm going to put on my mask and start working. Make sure the, that you always wear mask when you are working with resin, no matter how much they tell you that, oh, it's safe. No, it doesn't matter how safe it is. You always put on your mask. When you pour the resin from the smaller cup to bigger cup, you make sure that you scrape all the sides of the smaller cup very well so you don't have um, resin wasted. As you stir, you make sure that you are scraping 
uh, periodically the sides of the cup, the bottom of the cup, and the uh, surface of the steering stick. So, um, and also, uh, when do you know that you have mixed your resin very well? See at the start or beginning, when you mix the two resins, they are kind of like milky, but as you can see now, it's been mixed for a while and it becomes, when they are very well mixed, it becomes transparent. In my opinion, when you resin, uh, the best way to ensure that you are uh, spreading your resin all the nooks and crannies, like there is no small spots left behind, is using your finger. And that way I can make sure that there's not much bubble or um, I'm missing some spots. And I promise you, even using fingers, you will have situations like that. So you, then you have to make sure you are checking your resin from different angles uh, so like there is not a missing spot. This one is already done, but as you can see, if you can, there is a missed spot. So I have to redo it again. So for raising, you have might end up doing a similar situation. Like sometimes you're, you will not be able to do it right at the first time. So you have to go and redo it again. Honestly, a couple of times I had to do one item three times. So yeah, it's annoying, but you have to do what you have to do. Now I am going back again and pouring rest of my mixed resin on each of the painting so I can have a little bit of thicker uh, layer because that looks really rich.
so I'm done with resin let me show you from the other side how the resin changes the painting see the glitter and the shimmer it's highlighted now because of the resin let me show you the other one see how pretty I'm going to let them dry at least for 12 hours and I will come back and show you how I um, take off my tape and finish them up. So it's been 12 hours that I resin this and if you touch them, they are still a tad bit tacky and this is the perfect time to um, kind of get rid of the uh, tape from the back it's very easy because otherwise later on they will harden see how fast you can peel them up so it's kind of towards the 12 hour windows from you resin finished resin okay so I get it of the back tape. There we go. So as you can see, um, it's <laughs> fine. I can see my, what should I say? My fingerprint a little, but it will go away hopefully. So this is what I do around 12 hours after I resin let's see this one same situation so the back of the red uh, so around uh, wooden panel I tape it this way so later on after 12 hours I'm going back and I'm going to peel off the paints and as you can see it's very neat and nice then I will wait again to let them dry completely after that I will show you how I finish my backing and I also will show you how I display them because many of you have asked me these questions and I am always thinking of making a video off of it but I never had a chance well better late than never so there we go the back and the front again it's still tacky so we'll wait to let it dry completely and then we will do the backing also a couple of tips about resin so i use these resins when i make coasters like this because these are these can tolerate high temperature so that's why i use them however as you can see these tends to turn yellow over time so my suggestion is if you are doing a resin on a color like this you can get away with even it turns a little yellow it should be okay it should not be a problem because the colors are so intense 
it will hide the yellow. But I don't have a... This is an example. This side was all white, but over time it turned yellow. So yeah, it's sad that a beautiful piece like that has turned yellow like this. Um, so if I am resining this piece, see it's really white. I would definitely use the... Um, art resin because in my house i have been uh, resined uh with art resin and it ne like so far it's been four years and it's still white so i would stick with art resin when i'm resining this kind of white um canvas now let's talk about how i finish my um pieces so this is an example of how I set my um, coasters. And if you look at these, so this is the front and the, on the back side, I put the sticky um, corks. So um, they have ad adhesive with them. So I just put them on the back and this is my um, coaster set if I'm selling them um in any of the art shows or something like that for tiles on the back i use the black felt and i spray glue on the felt and i just stick it to my tile on the back it gives it such a finished look uh, i also have bought very recently some adhe felt with ad adhesive i'm going to stick it on the back of these i will show you once they dry. Let me show you if you don't peel the back side into a bower window. So this is more than 24 hours. I saved it to show you what happens. So as you can see, these little pieces have dried and sometimes you might hurt your nails to take them off. You have to be, um, this is basically, some extra work that you have to do. So best, again, best time to peel this tape is during 12 hour window. Most of it will come out fine as you can see, but these things might give you some hard time sometime. Maybe this tool can help me a bit. Yeah, it's good. Now I am going to show you how I finish the packing of my painting. By the way, it's all dried. It has to cure for a while, but right now it's just dried. And you can touch it, but it's not cured all the way. So anyway, I bought this um, adhesive back uh, from Amazon. 
and it's kind of like velvetish kind of a, a fabric I'm taking measurement and then I'm going to go and cut it for the backing of this piece So let's let's start one side. I accidentally cut this a little shorter on this side so I'm trying to pull it and cover all sides and then I go to the front side and trim it the excess. Now this is my finished product. <clears throat> Next step I want to show you how I display them. Okay so these are some examples of how I display my pieces. So I have these um, stands. I bought them from Hobby Lobby and then I put my painting like this these are for the round ones and these ones are for my um, rectangle ones or square ones and by the way you can buy them from Michaels so this is how I can display them or if you want to it can go like that I sometimes even display the smaller ones into this ones and look at that how how beautiful they look look at them so this is how I display my paint and this is the complete process of my um, painting creating art to selling it and how people can hang it or display it in their house so this is the entire process thank you so much for joining me today please let me know what do you think about my videos i really like to hear from you and you can also uh, give me suggestions of what kind of videos you want to see from me so i can create more content like that thank you so much until next time bye